Good evening. My name is Justin Wong. Today I want to confirm the result of my work. My topic today is politics, but I want to explain more about manner of articulation. First, what is phonetic? Meaning of phonetic, phonetic describes the way that spoken word sound, the sound out an unfamiliar word, you break it into its phonetic parts, saying it's in the area in which it appears. When you use the word phonetic, you're talking about pronunciation or the way language sounds. Like when you learn how to speak Chinese, for example, you often talk about talk about traditional Chinese characters at the phonetic alphabet, which help people learn to correctly pronounce Chinese words like that. And then phonetic has three types. There is first voice and first sound. Second is plus of articulation, and the last is manner of articulation, and I will be explaining about manner of articulation. Manner of articulation. What is manner of articulation? In other in other in phonetics, the manner of articulation is the configuration and the direction of the articulators when making a speech sound. One parameter of many is restrictor, that is how closely the speech organs oppose one another. The manner of articulation is the way the SM is applied as it follows from the lungs and out the nose and mouth. In manner of articulation, there is six types, namely, the first is stops, like nasal consonants. Stop consonants occur when the vocal thread is closed completely, but for stop the air valve is not connected to the nose. Instead, the air quickly builds up pressure behind the articulars and then release in burst. This type of consonant sound resulting from a blocking or stopping effect on the air same is called a stop or a plosive. Example, F is first the sentence, B back in sentence. The second is fricative. When a sound stop consonant involves a complete blocking the vocal tract, because sound involves only a partial blockage of the vocal tract, so that air has to be first through a narrow channel, channel or a plosive. Example, F is first the sentence, B back in sentence. The second is fricative. When a sound stop consonant involves a complete blockage of the vocal tract, because sound involves only a partial blockage of the vocal tract, so that air has to be first through a narrow channel. channel. Example, F is a, this sentence is half, and F is half in the sentence. Next is aggregates. Aggregates is a combination of stop and aggregates. If you combine a brief stopping of the air stream with an obstruct release which causes some friction, we will be able to produce the sound uh, the and the and j. These are called affixes and occur at the beginning of the words chip and jib. In the first of this, of this, there is a voiceless affixate, the and in, in the second, a first affixate is j. Example, the is match in the sentence and j is bed in sentence. And the third is nasal. The air go out of nasal cavity or in nose. Most sounds are produced orally with the film rays preventing a fall from entering the nasal cavity. However, when the film is lowered and the air stream is allowed to flow, to flow out, don't the nose produce. The example is me, ne, and ne. The sounds are described as nasals. These sounds are all voice towards morning community and name begin and end with nasals. And next, liquids, the initial sound in red and red are described as liquids, they are both voice. The e sound is called a lateral liquid and is formed by letting the air stream flow around the side of the tongue as the tip of the tongue makes contact with the middle of the alveolar ridge. The R sound at the beginning of red is formed with the tongue rim tip raised and curled back near the alveolar ridge. And next, the is the glitch. The sound W and J are described as glitch. They are both voice and occur at the beginning of the wet, you and yes. The sounds are typically produced with the tongue in motion or gliding. To are from the position of a vowel and are sometimes called semi-vowels. In a phrase, the liquids L, R, and glitch, W, and J are combined in one category called approximants.
Uh, so the conclusion of the matter of the question. So in every pronounce or every letter, every word we say is different from the part of the lip, tongue, nose, and air that comes out. Definitely different and produce as different sound. I think it's enough for me. Thank you for your attention.